Uh, hey guys, I might have went a little bit too fast in this video. I'm really sorry for apology. That's that's just a reminder or it be started before this uh thing starts, okay? Thank you for watching and have fun. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, I'm just going to to do pit for toying endurance. So what we're going to start off is with the pathing of the husk. So we're going to walk over here to this little slant right here. We're going to pull the floor right here. One right here. Go over to the little right. One, two, and then put one, two. This is going to be the pathing of the husk. So they're me walking from down there, walking up here, and going on this way. So we're going to put a wall right here, here. One right here, one right here, 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 here. And that's all you need for that. So down here, under this little path, you're gonna put a cone, put a wall back there, edit the cone up to a ramp like this, all right, right there. Next, you're gonna have a wall right here, edit it one like this. So it's up, put a wall right, or edit it, uh, a wall, a half wall like that. You can put one here if you want, that's what I did. I had one right there. I had a whole wall right here. Or no, a, a, a pier or a pillar, if you say so, right there. And then we're going to get off with the block off over here. I'll do the little block off down there after. So we're going to do four tiles all the way over here until you hit this little edge spot right here. So when it starts going up right here, you put fill that, put the, put a box around it, put, uh, and then put a ramp facing towards the west. All these floor tiles are going to be edited like this. So that's this one. You're gonna put a wall right here, edit into a half wall. Put walls behind that as well. And then go over here, put all walls all the way over here. Then this is where the lava bomb shift. We're gonna edit uh, floor tiles like this. So that corner and that corner over there. So you're gonna put one, two, three. Go over here. When you start seeing this thing right here, you're gonna put a one, two, three. One, two, like that. And then you're gonna put floor tiles at the two, two ones facing the west, one right here, facing towards that way. And that should make the lava bomb shift into this little corner right here, like this. So what you do is uh, fill this in with walls. Put a cone right here. Edit this one towards the uh, southwest. Put a wall. Put ramps as well in here. I'm having some issues with my keyboard lately, so if I if I get you know, fan of my streams, you know I get mad at my keyboard quite often. Edit the cones facing towards the uh, southwest. Put the ramp facing towards the west for these two sides. So like that. So your block up looks something like that. So we're gonna block off the middle part. So we're gonna put a floor, floor, floor. Put cones over top of that. Put a wall, two walls right there, a cone. This facing towards the northwest. Let's surround that. So we're gonna start with the back block off after this part. Put a wall right there. Put cones going all the way back. Three units backwards. Put uh, edit the line of this one towards the northwest. Edit these one towards the southwest. And then surround them. Surround them in groups, not not in in ones. So look like that. You can put a floor tile right here as well. You can put a ramp there. I'm probably going to go a little bit too fast in this one. I'm sorry, but you guys have to slow it down a little bit. Because my keyboard is going to drive me nuts. So, a cone right here. Here, 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 here. And two up here. Edit these ones towards the southwest. And this one towards the northwest. This one towards the south. This one towards the south. This one towards the north. So it looks something like that. 
And then back behind these walls, you're gonna make uh, floor tiles. You can put a wall right here too, in there. Make floor tiles and edit them like that. So maybe a little bit more block up for them. Don't go back this. And then come down here. Two floor tiles, edit them like that. Two walls, a wall right here. Go behind that. Two floors, edit them like that. Two cones, edit them to ramps like that. Two walls behind that. Surround this wall right here. Or surround this into a box right here. Come under here, under this little tile right here. Surround that as well. You can surround this too. Press your block off, come down here towards the amp. Or down here to this little spot before the amp. Edit that into like that. And put walls right there. Alright. So once you have that, we're going to start here with the hus. I'm going to be pathing them this way and they want to get to the amp the quickest they can. So what I had is what I, I had a cone right there. I edited them like basically like a, like a little, I put a little bit of design into it because you know, I had the structure so I did it. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You just make a ramp going zigzag down. So what the husks are going to be doing is there's, there's a wall across from that. So what I did is I went over here and I placed a floor tile, right, one floor tile and went from, I went one over and one over. I went over on each side from this first one. And I went one, two, three, four, four up on both sides. And that's all I had for that. So what I did is I had, I had a ramp right here, here, and here. Over here, I had a ramp going down and one going up. I had a floor tile here and here. I also had a wall right there and four right there. I'll explain this part at at the end or close to the, or when I start placing traps. You can you can edit that floor this this ramp tile like that and go over here and edit these things up for flingers that want to throw. Actually no, I had that edited like that and I had a whole wall right there. That's what I had. Yeah, that's what I had. Okay. So the husband will be passing down here and then the quickest way they get down here, they're just gonna drop down here. That's what they're gonna be doing. So I'll do amp design for MIDI boss. And if smashes smashes technically won't get by. So two pi or two pillars right there, two pillars right here, two more right here, and here. Come on top of the amp. Edit the arches and surround it like that. And then small walls on top. Edit this corner like that. Like that. It's to facing towards the trap tunnel. Edit them into a uh, little archway so like you can make stuff like that. Like that. So come down here by here. Edit a comb like that. A small wall right there. Two of them. It's over top of the geyser. Now they're at the bottom. Uh, come up here. We're gonna start with the traps. There's not very many traps that you use in this one, so we're, we're gonna come down here at the first wall. We're gonna use sound walls with increased building health. So durability, reload durability, reload durability, increased building health. We're gonna place one, two, three. We're gonna come on the back side of this and place any trap. You can place them again back here, but anything that has increased building health in these three walls right here. Up here, you have an seedling trap that has increased building health, so I'd like a gas trap. I'm going to place four of them right there. You don't need one right here. That could just be blank. That's all you need for that. So over here, we're going to have uh, all durability uh, physical roll um, on the wooden floor spike. One right there, one right here, here, then there. This is going to be a floor launcher. It's going to be two impact, one, two reload, two durability. One right there. You're going to go over here and place one tar pit, all durability. These two walls either can be a three impact, triple re re uh, reload, I can't speak, or double impact, double reload, double durability. I put the three impacts though for the smashers. Right here, you can either put a wall light if you want. I didn't put anything here actually, but that's if you want. 
Uh, so in here, this is just case the husk gets by. So um, some husks can actually get hit by this or hit all three of these sound walls just in case because it spawns all over there. And then they can come up here and only get hit by this and then sometimes like bonk their head on this part here. And then be, be able to walk by all the rest. So what I did is right here is I put a ceiling electric fields. So crit rating, crit damage, damage, uh, crit damage, durability. Put four of them. Right there. And then I put anti-airs on these two. This is just in case a flinger decides to, because they can get launched in the lava down there. And they will start throwing either the ones with the hus, the ones that throws the hus is going to stand a little bit over to the, like somewhere like right, right here in this little general area. And the other ones that just spawn over there and throw balls. So that's what these are for. I would suggest you come up here and placing your base. You can break that wall. You don't need it then. Since you, uh, I use base in mine. Uh, actually back here on these three walls, you want to place an increased building health trap. So any one of those will do. I was debating if I should put a healing attached on these ones, but I don't have, I don't, I don't want to chance it and kill them. Just something like that. Just get the duty side of whack on it. Cause the husk it, uh, tends to like face through this and hit this quite a bit. He hits this wall right here. So that's what he does. I don't know why. But that, that's occasionally. Oh, right here on this thing. I forgot. Add a wall launcher. It can either be three impact, one impact. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just, just it for it keeps the husk off that wall. So what the husk will do is they will fall down there and die and respawn. This is um because of the new trap mechanism that has been implemented. Um, and I think that is it. Oh, the mini boss. Mini boss will come down here. You jump down here, walk down here. He will get caught right here, and then he should turn around and come up here and do a geyser thing. He should jump up like that and teleport over there. I think right there and somewhere else over here, but that's what he should do. He should be in a loop. These should kill the husk that, or the small husk they get by, or the big husk, or whatever the hell they are. If they do not, your thing will be obviously damaged, but um, that should be it. All my builds are not AFK. This is like partly AFK. You need a lot of trapter ability for this. Just recommended, probably 260 around because that's what I have right now. Because I got rid of all my max, or I didn't wanted to get like power level fire. So yeah. Um, and yeah, stay wild, stay caring, and stay with the nature baron. I'll see you guys in the next one.